Alright, yeah. it's uh, Keith Bank Account here from the Institute of Mortgage Driven Software Development with a, uh, a brief demonstration of some basic refactoring. Uh, today I'm going to be tackling a particularly pernicious code smell simply known as simple code. The uh, problem with simple code is that people can understand it, uh, people that didn't write the code can understand it and um, this could be uh, bad news from a, you know, from a, a mortgage perspective. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be refactoring this simple method here that returns a, a string that just says hello world, uh, what could be simpler. Uh, and to start what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the spring up, string up like this. Bit of a Freudian slip there, I said spring, uh, something we could probably add in later. And uh, so we're, we're, we're breaking the string up and concatenating the little bits together like this. Um, I saved that. I'm using JUnit Max. That's running all the tests in the background there. So we're safe. Boss is none the wiser. You know what I mean? Uh, now all I have to do is uh, extract some methods. Um, that's a method that gets hello. So get hello like that. Very important not to use whole words if you can help it. Um, and uh, no tests appear to be broken. So we, we carry on with that. And um, this one gets a comma. So get a comma like that. So far, so good. We're just going to get a space here, space character. So get space. And then uh, we do the get world here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, uh, get world. And then finally, the uh, the exclamation mark at the end there. Um, so get the exclamation mark, well, EM. Uh, that's all pretty self-explanatory, I think. Or not, as the case may be. Now, um, so far, you know, that's that's got to go some way to making the code a little harder to understand. I think what we can probably do at this point is add a helpful comment. Um, so, um, something along the lines of method called get greeting, just in case you haven't read the name of the method. Um, and what it does, it well, it concatenates some strings, doesn't it? into a new string because that's what concatenation does um, um, which is then returned as the return value of the method um, as per the requirements so if they've got any questions they can they can look it up or go and ask the customer and uh, I probably better sign it a good artist always signs his work and uh, you never know, I might as well add me mobile phone number in there as well um, and me hourly rate um, because you never know who might be reading this um, they might be looking for a contract, I think that's a very nice method there it's a nice bit of work there um, and uh, you know, want to give me a ring so so always, always sign what you're doing there right, uh, 99 per hour I think and uh, so what we do now is we save that, all looking good. Um, I could probably go a little bit further with this. Um, we've got these helper methods here, but um, what we really need is a few more objects, don't we? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start declaring um, something like, uh, well, something that gets hello. So a hello getter, like so, an H getter. And then uh, we'll create that class there. And what we could do now, you see, is we can move the uh, move the method that says hello. We move that across. Okay, so we're 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 now in a, in a different class, which means you've got to flip between two class files. So uh, this all adds to the confusion. And uh, uh, we can repeat that process. We can uh, do the same thing with the uh, the thing that gets the uh, comma. So we can create a new uh, comma getter, C getter, like that. And then we just declare a new one of those, like that. And then we can move that method across. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, all, all, all working. No test broken, as far as I can see there. 
so we're ready to move on we do the same thing for the thing that gets the space after the comma so private uh, space getter so it's an S getter in it and uh, we create that class as yes get a day and uh, finally oh, well we've got a couple more to do haven't we so uh, we need to get the uh, the world that method across oops we don't want to do that because we put it in the wrong place there don't we uh, let's try that again should be in there doesn't it w get a very got to keep a very close sign got to have your wits about you because if you make a mistake or do something silly then uh, boss is going to be onto you and uh, your contract you know it's all, all going to be over so uh, what we need to do here now is we just need to finish off by creating a uh, an exclamation mark getter so that's an e-getter in it and um, now that we've done that we can move that method across in for our e-getter there so so far so good um, we would taken our, our simple method there and we turned it into a bunch of uh, objects there that do a whole bunch of uh, good stuff. Uh, in the second half of this video I'll show you how we can do a, a more advanced version of this refactoring so we're going to carry on from here uh, introduce an abstraction and a factory and a switch statement and some other great stuff and some magic numbers um, and a few more maybe helpful comments um, and um, maybe a link to my website or something you know um, so uh, yeah, that's all from me, Keith Bank Account for now. Um, I'll see you in a second video.